In Composer Pro, the user interface of your app is built from view components. View components can be added on the view canvas and exist in the context of the selected page in your application. Components have properties which can be bound to static values, variables, formulas, and also other component properties. Some view components are made up of several view components and have their own view canvas called composite canvas. These are known as composite components. In the following videos, we'll also go through how to create your own composite components. Components are added onto the view canvas by dragging them in from the component library on the left. By default, components on the page are ordered vertically from top to bottom. Components can be reordered by dragging them on the page. The component toolbar is shown for the currently selected component. From the toolbar, you can duplicate or remove the component. The component tree for the current page is shown on the bottom right of the app builder. As we can see, every component on the page is contained within the page layout node. The components can also be reordered in the tree view. This can be useful on pages where you have lots of components or some more advanced styling. The properties of the currently selected component are displayed in the properties panel on the right. The default properties depend on the type of the component. For static property values, you can also edit them directly in the properties panel. Component properties can be bound via the binding icon in front of the property value. We'll talk more about binding properties in a following video. Under the Advanced tab, we can find the component properties Visible and Component Display Name. The Visible property can be bound by the binding editor, which enables dynamic control of the component visibility. Note that if you set the default visibility to false, you'll need to use the tree view to select the component again. The Component Display Name allows you to customize the component name displayed in the view canvas and tree view. Giving components custom names can be really useful when working with more complex layouts. In the Properties panel under the Style tab, you can configure all the style properties for the component. The available style properties again depend on the type of the component.